Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a system of Diophantin equations. In other words, we're going to be solving for integers. A, B, C are integers. If you were solving for real numbers, there would be infinitely many solutions because we have three variables and two equations. So let's see how we can solve this system using two different methods. First method. I'm going to go ahead and add these two equations. But before I start doing it, I just want to tell you something real quick. If I was just working on a single equation, like let's say this one, and let's say since a, b, c are integers, I could probably guess and check, right? What if c is equal to 0, then a, a, b would be 23, and then if c is 1, a, b would be 22. You see, for every value of c, we get a, we get a different a, b, which is a product, and there are going to there are going to be so many cases to check. Because the problem is whatever you find for those products, you have to find individually A and B, plug it into the second equation to make sure that you get the right answer. So that's going to be super painful. I don't think anybody wants to go through that, and that's going to take infinitely many times. So here's what we're going to do instead. We're going to go ahead and add these two equations. That's going to be our first method, right? Let's go ahead and add them. AB plus AC plus B plus C equals 47. One of the things that's good is that 47 is a prime number. And then we can kind of take out a 1 here. Now this is factorable by grouping. I can take out a B plus C. And A plus 1 is going to be my second factor. Now here's what you need to think about. B plus C and A plus 1 are factors of 47. And 47 is prime. Yay! So, what does that mean though? Since A, B, C are integers, B plus C and A plus 1 are both integers. So, we're looking for factors of 47, but 47 is prime. So, there are four cases. 47 and 1, 1 and 47, negative 47 and negative 1, and vice versa. Make sense? So, we're going to go through all these cases, but notice that the second one gives you the value of A directly. So let's go ahead and find the A values from here so we can easily check the results. So I'm going to call um, these cases 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's number these cases because we're going to check each one separately. So if A plus 1 is equal to 1, as you can see here, then A is going to be 0. From here, A is going to be 46. From here, A is going to be negative 2. And from the last one, A is going to be negative 48. Now we're going to go ahead and plug these A values along with the B plus C values. We're going to come up with another system and we'll check the results. Let's just use the first equation because it's the number is smaller, right? A, B plus C is 23. And now if A is 0, notice that if A is 0, we get B times 0, which is 0. So we get C equals 23 from here, right? But if C is 23 and B plus C is 20, 47, right? Then we do know that B is equal to 24. So what does that mean? It just means that 0, 24, 23 is a solution. It's an order triple that satisfies the original equation. Okay? Case 1 closed. Now let's go ahead and take a look at case 2. A is 46. And I know that a plus a b plus c is 23. Let's go ahead and replace a with 46. We get 46 b plus c is 23, along with b plus c, which is in the second case, b plus c is 1, right? So now we get b plus c equals 1. If you negate the second equation and add, which is subtraction, c is going to cancel out 45b equals 22. B is not going to be an integer. None of these are going to be an integer. So we don't get any solutions from there. Let's look at case 3. A is negative 2. And B plus C is, I think, negative 47. Right? Cool. We also know that A, B plus C is 23. If A is negative 2, we get negative 2B plus C is equal to 23. And then along with B plus C equals negative 47. Now, again, we're going to negate one of these equations. Let's negate the second one. And then add these. 
C cancels out negative 3B equals 7D. Again, B is not going to be an integer. This method also fails. I mean the third case. Let's look at the last case. Last case number four is A is negative 48 and B is, I mean B plus C is, I think, negative 1, right? B plus C is negative 1, yes. And we also know that AB plus C is 23. Now, if you go ahead and plug in negative 48 here, you're going to get another system like this. And then again, negating the second equation, negate, negate, negate. C cancels out negative 49B equals 24. Uh-oh, we don't get any integer solutions either. So, so the only triple we get, or triplet, whatever you want to call it, is going to be this one, the only solution to our system. Alrighty, this is the first method, and let's go ahead and talk about the second method now. Do you want to know the second method? Because it's better, I think, but you'll get to decide. So, we were given this system, and we added and we got these. So, it was nice to get a prime number from the sum, and it may not be a prime number sometimes, like, you know, then you have to look at all the factorizations. But in this case, Here's what would be helpful. Negate the first equation and add these. In other words, subtract this way, right? And then from here, don't worry, nothing is going to cancel out. But we get AC minus AB plus B minus C equals 1. Yay! Getting 1 is much better than getting a prime number because there's only two cases as opposed to four cases. You see the comparison? Okay. Don't be biased. If you like the first method, that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and take out an A times c minus b and then here I want to take out a negative one to get c minus b the opposite of b minus c and that's equal to one hopefully you see what I'm talking about and then I'm going to take out c minus b and a minus one is going to be my second factor and look at this you can only get one in two ways this can be one one or negative one negative one and guess what's really cool about it is that you get to the solution super quick of course, you're, gonna, you're still going to use one of the equations, a, b plus c equals 23, but it's going to be easier. So if a, is equal, a minus 1 is equal to 1, that means a is equal to 2. That gives us 2b, or not 2b, equals 23. Along with c minus b equals 1, you get a system, right? Let's go ahead and solve it by negating the second equation again, and now adding these up. 3b equals 22, uh-oh, this doesn't give us any negative solutions. I mean, integer solutions. Let's look at the second case. Second case is a minus 1 equals negative 1, which means a is equal to 0. And we have a, b plus c equals 23. And c minus b equals negative 1. So that's the system we have. We kind of have like three equations, but a equals 0 is pretty easy to use. So if you plug in 0 here, you're going to get c equals 23. If you plug in 23, you're going to get b equals 24. And guess what? That's going to be the only solution again. 0, 24, 23 is the only solution to this Diophantin system. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe. Take care and bye-bye.